everyone. Welcome to our channel IELTS Steno. We are starting the passage at the speed of 110 words per minute. Start. I may draw the attention of the house to a special feature of the budget and it is this. With all the heavy expenditure on defense to the tune of 30%, the developmental activity has not been slowed down. Today, we are spending about 19% on the different development activities. But in this respect, I would like to submit that the allocation for education in the budget continues to be at 2 to 3 percent. I think education is a very important subject as it affects the minds of our, our younger generation and it gives us the necessary technical personnel who are so to say the hands and feet of our development. What we find here is that instead of making an increase in this particular direction on education, we are keeping it at the same level. I would submit that the finance minister should give his due consideration for increasing the budget on education. Now, I turn to the performance and the working of the ministries. I would like to say something first about the work that the planning commission is doing. Of course, the planning commission is doing an excellent work. It is, it is at present preparing the 12th five-year plan. Not only that, it is preparing a perspective plan for a number of years. It is also giving a vision. It is also suggesting certain priorities insofar as the progress of our country is concerned. The planning commission is also carrying out different kinds of studies and researches. But at the same time, what I feel is that the commission must apply itself also to the weaker sections of the society, namely the landless laborers, the artisans and those who are living in the rural areas. It must also apply itself as to how the weaker areas or the underdeveloped areas in our country can be helped. I know that the planning commission has prepared certain indicators and has asked the state governments to show which are the regions which are underdeveloped according to the indicators. But that much of attention will not do. We have to give more attention because if such areas continue, so in the different states in our country, it will hamper the general progress of the country. From the questions that are asked in this house, the minister will know the anxiety amongst the members. So, I would suggest for the consideration of the minister that a special wing be established in the planning commission to study and prepare schemes for such regions. Today, only seven states have informed as per indicators about these regions and even then I would submit that a special wing may be constituted in the planning commission to study and prepare schemes for such regions. This wing should not merely prepare schemes but it must at the same time also watch the implementation of the schemes that are meant for such regions. The planning commission must direct that a special provision be made and priority given to all the schemes for such regions. The economic development of such a region depends upon the building up of economic overheads in that 
particular region and you will find as i have given certain figures that in so far as marathwada area is concerned there is lack of such economic overheads therefore industries are not coming up and since industries are not coming up other developments are also falling short so i would request that consideration may be given to constituting a special wing in the planning commission for the underdeveloped areas coming to the ministry of education what i find is that the ministry of education has been going after too many things it is going after too many changes and also too many experimentations i think the time has come when we should stop this policy of going after too many changes and too many experimentations in the field of education it is because of this that we have not been able to achieve after 18 years of freedom a common pattern throughout the country i think a plea has already been made by a lady member about the pattern different patterns exist in different states of a country one does not know what has happened to the educational objectives that have been incorporated in the different reports with regard to primary education secondary education and college education nobody has tried to peruse as to how far the educational objectives that have been incorporated in these reports have been put through in the different states as far as i know basic education is not is not being worked in the spirit in which it ought to be and there are different misconceptions about it so it should be seen by the education ministry that instead of going after too many changes and too many experimentations they concentrate and see that at least a common pattern of education at the primary level the secondary level and the college level is involved throughout the country so Thank you.